We sign ourselves with the sign of the cross and pray, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross, cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the, world. the world. Psalm 19. God teaches us about himself. The heavens show us how great God is. The sky above shows his good work. Each day speaks about God, until the next day continues the story. Every night tells us how great God is. They do not use words to speak with. Nobody hears their voice. But their message goes round all the earth. All the world can understand what they say. God has made a home for the sun in the sky. Each morning, the sun comes out like a happy man who has just married. It comes out like a strong man who wants to run a race. The Lord's rules are always right. If we obey them, they make us really happy. The Lord's commands are completely good. They show us how to live in a good way. Lord, stop me doing things that I know are wrong. Do not let those sins rule my life. Then I will not be guilty. I will not have turned against you in a bad way. Lord, I want to make you happy. I want my words and my thoughts to please you. You are my strong rock, and you are the one I love. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verses 15 to 16. Moses said to the people, Today I have set before you life and prosperity, death and doom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin on you today, loving him and walking in his ways and keeping his commandments, statutes, and decrees, you will live and grow numerous. And the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to occupy. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today, at the beginning of Lent, we are invited to reflect on two ways, or two paths. The way of life, which is the way of Christ. It is difficult and demands that we accept every cross with faith 
and persevere in hope and charity. This path ends with glory and blessing. The other path is the way of evil. It is easier, filled with comfort and earthly pleasures. But its end is darkness and despair. The choice sounds simple, right? But we all know that following Christ daily and in every circumstance can be difficult. I often choose the easier path rather than the path of Christ. For example, each morning presents me with the choice between getting out of bed to pray or remaining where it's warm and comfortable. And I don't always make the right choice. I also sometimes spend hours on my phone instead of a few minutes reading God's Word in Scripture. Why? Because I'm afraid that if I choose to read and pray with God's Word, He may make me uncomfortable. He may reveal my need for greater conversion, and so I choose the easier path. So, how do we grow in our ability to follow Christ on the way of life? We must learn to accept difficulties and to accept becoming uncomfortable. And we can do this by fully engaging in the season of Lent. We freely choose each Lent to make sacrifices, and these sacrifices train us to persevere through difficulties. We fast and change our routines to put God first in our lives, rather than our comfort or pleasure. In addition to these practices, I invite you to join me in making a daily examination of conscience this Lent. Before bed, spend five minutes in prayer, asking the Holy Spirit to reveal ways you either sinned or did not live according to Christ's standards that day. Note these things, and then commit to confessing them in the Sacrament of Reconciliation at some point during Lent. This simple practice, which countless saints recommend, teaches us to face the uncomfortable reality of our weakness and sinfulness. But at the same time, it inspires us to persevere on the path of life and to open ourselves to Christ's merciful love and forgiveness. If we follow Christ on the path of life this Lent, a path that, yes, it is difficult sometimes, but it leads us to happiness and to love of God. He promises to raise us in glory with Christ for all eternity. That's the goal of this Lent, to unite ourselves with Christ to newness of life. Let the name of Jesus be praised, both now and forever. Amen. For those dealing with anxiety or depression, we place them before the Lord as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who have made known to your people the ways of eternal life, lead us by that path, we pray, to you, the unfading light, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us conclude our prayer today with the Mary Prayer. We, we fly to your, your protection, O Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of, God. of God. Beneath your, your compassion, compassion, hear our, our petitions. petitions and rescue us from all temptation, O glorious and blessed Virgin Mary. 
Amen. Before we close today, I just want to invite you to remember about our uh, night prayer that's on our website. Uh, it changes each day, and certainly that would go along beautifully with the suggestion that Anthony gave us today for uh, an opportunity to examine our conscience each day. So do take care of yourselves and one another, and we'll see you tomorrow. Mm-hmm.